The stage is set and the glittering prize awaits one of these two teams. But which one in the 2022 FIFA World Cup final? Stay with us, we'll have it all for you coming up next on EA TV. Hello and welcome to a contest of colossal meaning. We find ourselves here just to the north of the Doha city centre, ahead of the 2022 World Cup final. My name is Derek Ray, and with me to provide expert analysis is Stuart Robson. And as you can imagine on this occasion, the atmosphere is building up nicely. It's Portugal versus Argentina. Well, what an occasion for these two sets of players. A chance to be world champions. Let's hope the game matches the atmosphere. It should be an absolute cracker. I can't wait for this to start. Here's how it looks for Portugal. Rui Patricio stands between the posts. Joao Cancelo starts with Rafael Guerrero as fullbacks. Bruno Fernandes plays alongside Ruben Neves in the center of midfield. And leading the line today is Cristiano Ronaldo. The Argentina first team. Emilio Martinez is the goalkeeper. Angel Di Maria starts with Lionel Messi in the wide midfield positions. And leading the line, Lautaro Martinez. And now they get the ball rolling. Well, it's been a long and winding road to the final for Portugal. It's worth remembering that they finished second in the qualifying group. They had to go through playoff matches against Turkey and North Macedonia just to get to the 2022 finals. And this past month has been challenging as well but they're here and they have a well-earned track record as winners well you're absolutely right but i think they've got better and better as the tournament has worn on they've got a great understanding of what's required of each player on the pitch they're good tactically they've been fit and i think they've got every chance of being the world champions here but they're gonna have to play well Can someone get on the end of this? Well, still an issue here. Ronaldo. He's trying to create something. Martinez. Giovanni Lo Celso. The ball with Martinez. Now, what can they do from here? To jump in front. Martinez and it's in we've just witnessed the first goal of this 2022 World Cup final one to save her.
Well, it's a very simple finish in the end, but his movement was really good. He just found himself a bit of space in the box when it mattered most. And the ball moving again. What sort of response will we see from them now? Fluency of movement. Ronaldo. And close down straight away. De Paul. The ball with Martinez. He's taken on his opponent here. Well, in there to tidy up. Ruben Neves. Here's Ronaldo. Otavio. Not high quality defending. Paredes. Lo Celso. Di Maria. Martinez. Superb defensive judgment to end the attack. Fernandes. The ball with Pepe. Joao Cancelo. Ruben Neves. And do they mean business on this occasion? Could play it in. Fernandes. Well, can Portugal take advantage of this set piece? And he's fired over the corner. It comes to absolutely nothing. Messi. Well, as you can see, Argentina have found it difficult to control the tempo of the game here, but they've certainly shown an ability to counter-attack when they win it back. I expect more of the same. I think it's been a really good performance from them. Oh, so far. hang on, Stuart. Big chance here. And there it is. A two-goal cushion now. And just look at these fans. A trophy coming their way, surely. Well, as you can see, his movement is really good, which then makes the finish look easy. That's a decent goal, that's for sure. Goal. So, 2-0 now. Argentina. And we will have just one additional minute. Another successful intervention, winning the ball back. Messi. He's using his strength to good effect. A chance then for the respective managers to address their charges. It is half time here. And it's in! We've just witnessed the first goal of this 2022 World Cup Final. And there it is! A two-goal cushion now, and just look at...
And back underway, there can be no denying it. There was a big gulf between the sides in the first half. Will we see a response from Portugal in the second? Plenty of players waiting in the middle. Ronaldo. Shot attempted and saved by the keeper. And the substitution will occur now. Playing it in. And cleared off the line. Couldn't keep it. Martinez. De Paul. And possession ceded by Argentina. Ruben Neves. Bruno Fernandes. Joao Cancelo. Fine tackle there to prevent the chance. Martinez. Can they do something positive on the counter attack? Messi. Now with Martinez. Oh, a perfectly timed pass. Well, as the replay shows, this is all about his ability to find space in the box, which then makes the finish look so much easier. That's good play from him. Three goals without reply. A danger here as he runs at them. A possession lost, intercepted. And support available. Ronaldo. Ball back with Argentina now. Just 15 minutes remaining. Can he finish? Oh, commanding goalkeeping. So a personnel change then. Who's going to get on the end of it? Oh, the goalkeeper did well to hang on to that one. Giving the ball to the opposition that time. Neves. And a crucial intervention inside the box. Breaking at pace. Well, five minutes remaining, but you just feel this is over already. It's a neat move.
Rodrigo de Paul. Messi. An unforced error, you've got to say. Well, the referee has instructed the fourth official to put two minutes on the board. Guerrero. And back with Bruno Fernandes. And there goes the final whistle for the third time in history. Argentina have won the World Cup. And I have to say, Derek, they've been the best team in the tournament. There's no doubt about that. Argentina, world champions! They did it in 1978 and 1986. They've done it again in 2022, Stuart. Well, this is the pinnacle of any footballer's career and what a night it's been for these players and the coaching staff and, of course, the fans.